Hey, looks good, guys. You're doing a terrific job. You know, becoming a certified Heilig Myers Maytag Center store is easy. Let's begin with phase one, the setup phase. Now, the setup phase involves placing the current Maytag lineup on your showroom floor and setting up your new Maytag Center. The following information will explain in detail phase one, the first of three steps in becoming a certified Heilig Myers Maytag Center store. I'm Sally. And I'm Jack. Bales of fiber from the various manufacturers are blended together to ensure consistency in the product. Once the fiber is blended, it moves along through a vacuum tube into a large bin called a card. The carding process pulls the fibers through small teeth, which aligns them. As they travel through the machine, the fibers form a long rope of loosely packed fiber called a sliver. The sliver is coiled into large bins and put on another machine that begins the drafting process. Here, the yarn is pulled through more teeth and rollers so that it becomes smaller. The lower rollers, seen here, are running four to five times faster than the top rollers, further stretching the yarn. The spools that the yarn is running onto are called spinnerets. When it reaches this point, the yarn is in string form. The yarn is then run through a quality checkpoint where an electronic eye reads the diameter of each yarn. Now cones of yarn, one from the top and one from the bottom, are combined to make a two-ply yarn, then heated to retain this form. Las Vegas, Nevada, a desert oasis of bright lights and entertainment, a reputation that's world famous and well-deserved. So why is this tourist haven the perfect place for the first step of the new vision? First, Las Vegas is the most rapidly growing city in the U.S. Young families and retirement age seniors are moving to the area at a rate of 6,000 people per month. All those people need places to live, and then they need furniture. With all the new housing that's being developed there, it's really ideal for that next tier of customer that we're looking for. And last but not least, it is a somewhat isolated market, although it's a very large city. It's an isolated market. allows us to drop the advertising in that marketplace and not have customers see that advertising in other markets where we wouldn't have that new product, that new visual presentation. The subjects of this first new vision wave are the four stores located around the city. Number 727 on South Nellis Boulevard. Number 729 in North Las Vegas. Number 730 on Rancho Drive. And number 731 in Henderson, Nevada. First, the exteriors were brightened up. Signs were cleaned or replaced as necessary, and the storefronts were also painted as needed. Why me, lady? I was told you were the best. But if that's not true, then I'll just be on my way. Just a minute, lady. Whoever... That's furniture, lady. Right. Anyway, whoever you've been talking to knows her stuff. I am the best. And if I'll tell you I'll get to the bottom of it, I will. Now, oh, please help me, Max Benefits. You're my only hope. All right, lady. But first, we talk a little bit about my fee. There were several questions I had to get answers to. What happened to the furniture lady's customers? Where have they gone? What are they doing to care for their furniture? How can it look like I'm saying one thing to her, but you're hearing me say this? Anyway, after running into a few roadblocks and brick walls, my investigation led me to Heilig Myers. You know the place, America's largest furniture retailer with friendly, helpful salespeople and legendary servers. I was told I would find all the answers I needed there. This black, 
In addition to the five-year guarantee against permanent stains on your leather, our leather care system provides you with protection against accidental damage. Accidental damage? Like what? Well, the leather care system warranty guarantees you professional repair of which is felt line, which is very beneficial to have. It also cuts down on the noise from your silverware, also helps reduce uh, tarnishing, which is a good thing you want to show your customer. Always take the drawer out, let the customer hold the drawer, put it in their hand, and feel the weight of the drawer, and go over the details of the drawer. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about our chair here. This is uh, one of the best-selling features. When you're talking about the chair, you want to also place this in the customer's hand, and that is heavy. Now also with chair construction is normally all solid wood. Now the way they put that wood together, they have these corner blocks. Now this is very beneficial because they're locked in place with a groove. They're also glued and screwed together. So you have the most solid construction with your chair and that way you don't... All parting contestants will receive these fabulous prizes. First, a year's supply of Daft Macaroni and Cheese. If you like macaroni and cheese, you're Daft. Plus, challenge your knowledge with a Game Show Showdown. The Game Show home game is hours of fun and excitement without the fabulous prizes. And finally, an exciting selection of bulb kits from Bellani. No, not light bulbs. The ones you plant in the ground. You know, plant bulbs. Thanks, Johnny. That's right, we're back. Our second new champion of the day is Bootsy Shuffle. <laughs> How's it feel to be the game show champion? Well, I'm happier than an old hound dog. It's supper time. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting colloquialism. Uh, yeah. So, are you ready to meet your new opponent? Sure I am. Let's do it. All right. Johnny, can you help out with that? Sure, MC. Our next contestant is a Heilig Myers employee. Originally from Mississippi, he lived in Memphis, Tennessee for several years and has toured the world extensively. Please welcome Darvin King. Darvin, Darvin, welcome. How are you? I'm doing fine. How about you, sir? Thank All you. right. Thank you. Thank you. It's great How to you have you on our show, Darvin. I'd say you're probably an Elvis impersonator. Uh, what'd you say there, sir? Well, you kind of look like him. Oh, I, I guess I see what you mean there. You know, uh, actually, I get that a lot. But uh, I'm not even a big fan of Elvis's. Uh, I guess we just both have the same <laughs> style, if you know what I mean. Uh, we understand that you had a, um, a different experience. <laughs> You can sure say that again. My salesperson was Mr. High Pressure. Not only that, but I couldn't even get a word in edgewise. Well, let's take a look. Well, now, wouldn't you agree that this is the group for you? Uh, maybe. I'll have to maybe think about it. Think about it? What? You got to think about it? What do you got to think about? I mean, that's, th this is the opportunity of a lifetime. Sales don't go on forever. This is on sale. You got to buy it now. What? I'm aware of that. I'll think about it. I'm waiting. You, you see what I mean? I mean, if, if I ever see that that person again, I don't know what I'll do. Well, Sally, you better figure it out quick, because here he comes from backstage, ladies and gentlemen, hustling Harry Guthrie. Oh, no. oh. Harry, yeah. what is your take on Sally's reaction to you? Well, uh, I think I better learn Dr. Selim's Fast Start program. <laughs> You're not kidding. You better not wear a glass, old lady. They'd found a slight problem with the rear end of the car the day before, so they replaced the rear end and were putting the finishing touches on the car. Now, other members of the team and driver Dick Trickle were at Richmond International Raceway practicing with another car for the Richmond race, which was a week and a half away. Now, a lot of people don't realize that the team actually has different cars for different tracks. For the bigger tracks... Most all the fenders are rolled and are rounded, and, uh, as well as the rear quarter panel. So uh, when we go to our intermediates and our short tracks, you'll see our fenders generally have a tendency to flatten out, which allows the air to push down on the front of the car. 
and the rear of the car lets the air come around to the spoiler to plant the rear end of the car so he can, he can get motivated. We also had a chance to ask Mr. Dunleavy what we could expect in Dover. You're going to see a terrific race up there. It's a, it's a good race track. It's a good competitive track. And boy, they go off down those corners like, a, like bullets. So it's, it's going to be a good show. We catch up with the team again on Friday as they're waiting in line to have the car inspected by the NASCAR officials. We've already been through once this morning where they, they go over the car pretty thoroughly. And then um, before we qualify, we have to go back through and they check overall templates, um, uh, weigh the car again, and, and then make sure that we haven't changed the car from, since they inspected it this morning. Over the course of a weekend, NASCAR officials will inspect the car three or four times to make sure everyone's following the rules. You know, you know we see them every week, so you know we're we're like.